Welcome to lab two on stops and pupils. In part one, we've set up a simple lens system with an iris in front of the lens, and we'll observe the effect that the iris opening has on the image when it's close to the lens and then when it's close to the light source. You'll also measure the field of view by placing a ruler in front of the light source. One trick with the clear ruler is to invert it so that the images in the screen are actually upright and you can read the ruler. For part two, we'll observe what's called depth of focus. With an iris in front of the lens, you can leave it wide open and observe the range over which you can find a clear image on the screen. Then close the iris, not quite all the way, but till the image gets fairly dim, and then observe the new range over which you can find a clear image. You should observe this depth of focus to be a fair bit larger than it was with an open iris. In part three, we'll be observing pupils and windows by locating images of the iris in different positions. First, immediately downstream from the lens, and then when it's closer to the screen. You'll notice when the iris is closer to the screen, we can't just look through the lens and see the image that's formed. So we'll need to use a little bit of a trick. Shine your desk light at the iris and put it fairly close like I have here. And then you can use a card to locate an inverted and real image of the iris. In part four, you'll build a telescope on the optical bench and study stops and pupils in that system. I don't have video footage of it, but there aren't any particularly sneaky tricks.